what is going on everybody welcome back to adrenaline motorsports and rc's and in today's video we are going to again <laughs> look into the maverick um so in the last video i took it out i went ham on it i uh whatever happened happened i, I just went ham um so i thought that only the body post broke so i'll take the body off i already showed you guys what the body looks like in the last video so and if you haven't seen the last video check it out put it over here somewhere um so we're now going to inspect um this thing to see what the deal is what broke what didn't break um and whatnot uh, so, the arms are doing fine. I looked at the arms already. They're okay. Um, the steering seems to be okay. <laughs> Except there seems like a bolt here is a little loose, but just tighten that up. Uh, the one thing that I found afterwards, after the video, was that I kind of... Uh, lost <laughs> the all-wheel drive so I'll bring you guys closer so you guys can check this out so if you guys take a look right in there right 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 there I'll put it our I'll put an arrow so you guys can look right in there if I lift up the Maverick in the back spinning the rear wheels Something in there is not doing too good. So what we're going to do today is we're basically opening this up where the gear, gearing is at. We're going to open that up. We're going to, to inspect what the deal is in here. And for all you guys that uh, was wondering... This is the battery. I think I showed it in one of my videos, but even there's still grass on here. I haven't cleaned it out or nothing. So this is the battery that I'm using. Um, other than it not lasting, other than it not lasting um, too long in this last run, I think that was like the third time that I used it. Um, so I haven't really had any issues. Um, but I'll put a link in the description down below because I got this off of Amazon. So I'll put a link below where you can get it on Amazon. Um, it brings like two of them. I think I pay like $26, $27 for them. Yeah, pretty cheap. But, you know, just to get this, uh, the Maverick going so I can make the videos for you guys, I figured why not so let me uh get my tools together and we're going to crack open this uh diff case and check out and see why we don't have a wheel drive so stand by be back right now all right so um i got my drill got my tools ready let's uh go ahead and open up this case here I'll move you guys, I'll try to move you guys a little bit closer. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that case here and uh, see what is going on in here. I have a feeling that I might have to take this bolt right here. I might have to take that off, but we'll see. Got three screws here. There we go. All right, so that covers off. So, all 
I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Nothing spinning in there. So let's keep going deeper into it and see what the deal is here. So far we got the uh, wheelie bar, the rear bumper, and of course that's the cover. Got that off. Um, there you go, that comes down like so. Gonna have to get those bolts. Right in the back here. Yeah. So maybe that last one, I probably send it a little too hard there. Oh, maybe a little too hard. I sent it. All right, take that off. Bottom piece off. Alright, so that's disconnected. Yeah. <sighs> 
All right. So there we go. So we got the rear disconnected. All right. So the spur gear here is, is doing fine. So I see what happened. I see now why we're not getting any drive for four wheel drive and why this just keeps on spinning. I, I just, uh, guys, this seems like it has a lot of play in it. Like it moves a lot before it grabs. So that's probably an issue. <clears throat> but and it's just constantly just hitting this bird gear is definitely gonna um, break so yep without even going any further I already see what the issue is so the issue here is the fact that this grommet that's on the inside where the uh, uh, prop shaft is that prop shaft the grommet the 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 screw that holds the flat spot here because if you guys see here if you guys take a look at that you can clearly see that it walked out see that right there look at that So I think I figured it out what it was. <clears throat> yep. Have a feeling we figured it out, guys. And girls. So let's go ahead and put this back together. And tighten up that uh that bad boy there. Alright. Right. All right, so now what I want to do All right, so what I'm going to do right in there, sorry if the lighting's kind of bad, but right in there, I'm going to tighten up this bad boy. And we should have all wheel drive again. All right. So, all right, so I just tightened up that, uh, it's not a grommet, I forget what the screw is called, but, uh, <laughs> after taking, basically taking off the whole back end part, so basically, uh, lesson to be learned here, you do not need to take off the wheelie bar, uh, the whole rear end, um, to be able to take this back part off, uh, so, I want to try to show you guys as best as I can. So if you look right in here, 
right down there there's a screw that goes there there's another one that goes right down there all the way inside the tub that is holding basically the whole rear end onto the tub uh, so once you take that screw off down there I'll put a red arrow so you guys can see that there so that screw there another one way down there and you take off this screw and this screw again I'll put arrows this one and that one once you take those four screws off you're basically able to take the whole rear end off um, I think you guys are a little angled is that better? Yeah. It might be a little angled guys <laughs> This the stand that I have for this camera is horrible, but um, so that's basically the only four screws you need to do, take off if you want to, basically take off the rear end. So, um, with that being said, that guys, on your Mavericks, I'm gonna say the MT and the XT, uh, definitely check those. I forget what the hell those screws are called. But check them. Make sure they're tight or else you're going to lose your all-wheel drive. Um, or 4x4, whatever you want to call it. All four wheels won't spin. All right, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to want to put the rear bumper, sorry, rear bumper back on. Um, this piece for the wheelie bar and the wheelie bar. Um, what I'm actually going to do since I have the wheelie bar off is like I said in my last video that I was going to because it was up like that oh sorry so it was up like that I'm going to lower it down some um, I think it'll help it so when you do wheelie it it will not flip over so yeah that's what I'm going to do so I'm not going to do all this on camera I'm going to um, just put all this back together and uh, have this thing hopefully run again. <laughs> Not ho well, it will run again, obviously, but uh, hopefully take this thing out. Not today, because it's now like 10 o'clock at night, so I'm not going to take it out right now. But probably tomorrow or something. I got to get the battery charged and whatnot. So, um, all right, so guys, um, I ended up putting the whole back end together. Now, I lowered the wheelie bar because that was higher up. Um, I think it's going to make a very big difference when it goes to wheelie. Hopefully, when it wheelies, the wheelie bar will hit the ground and it won't flip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like the same likes to do so that's basically where I'm going to end this video guys um, I'm, so I'm just going to put all this back together I have to order a body post um, I have went on the on to hobby recreation products and they do have body posts there so I'm either a going to order the stock body posts or I'm going to see if I can find metal body posts or aluminum body post that I can put on here and hopefully these will last a little the body post will last a little bit longer than what uh, than these plastic ones so without further ado um, yeah that's where we're at so ladies and gentlemen boys and girls thank you for watching this video um, if you haven't yet go check out my other videos that I got um, I do have a video of my rally car my tra Tamiya TT01 that I am going to put a Dean's plug on there so I can put these uh, lipos on it and hopefully by then which will come up soon I'm trying to do a video every week um, you know with work and everything it's just hard for me to do a video every day so at least once a week I'm trying to put out a video I'm going to get a GPS, going to see how fast that thing goes, going to see how fast this thing goes with at least a 2S LiPo. Um, in my one video, I think it was the one with the uh, 
Tamiya TTO one. I put an aluminum prop shaft on it. I said that I was going to get another RC. Um, I'm still in the works for it. I'm still in the works on it. Um, just you know, scrounging up, trying to make some money uh, to be able to get it. Uh, my videos that I have, all these RCs that I that I have, uh, I pay for out of my own pocket. This Maverick, I pay for out of my own pocket. Uh, the other ones are the ones that I've already had, uh, so I figure I just start with those and just slowly progress my way with uh, RCs. So you know, I did say that there is another video coming up uh, with another RC that I'm going to buy. Again, I'm going to buy. I'm just trying to save up some money for it. Um, so, yeah. If you guys can help me out, hit that like button, subscribe. That will help me out. <laughs> so I'd be able to get more content out for you guys with some RCs. Um, once I get that other RC, we might end up uh, putting a 3S on this Maverick. And um, send her flying. So if you guys want to see that video, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell so you get my notifications of when a new video comes out. Guys, keep our seeing. The weather's getting warmer out, so definitely go out and have some fun. You guys have a good one.